Here we have Florida State Capitol, Tallahassee. And closer to the end of the day, I think we stopped in Texas at Sun Park to go ahead and have our meal. I was off the road and we took our own drinks, uh, large bottles of Cokes at the time, camper, a Coleman stove, and a refrigerator full of food. Here we are at the entry point to Mexico and we'll be going to Nuevo Laredo. This was in 1972 and Gina must have been about two months, three months old, something like that. Very small. Again, I don't know how we did it with such a young baby. I guess we were just crazy then and crazier now. So this is the entry point to Mexico. Actually, this film so far, but one of the older ones, looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'm surprised. I'm not going to be able to tell you much about the countryside anymore. It's just been too long. Uh, we went to... Um, several places while we were there. Enjoyed it. Had a good time. Um, the money exchange was very good at the time. I don't remember what it was, but it was a very inexpensive trip as far as motels and that kind of thing. On long roads like this, sometimes you would see rivers on the side and people, Mexicans, would travel miles to a store just to get a small bottle of coke. As for Dennis and Gina, I don't know if this movie is going to be much interest to you at all. Um, you will see Gina in here from time to time and that will be it. I don't know what significant value the movie will have for you guys. To watch. It's more mountainous than I remember. That's one of the first motels we stayed at. There's she, you know, you can tell how young she is, and uh, Carol's car. The rooms were nice. While you were traveling on the streets and came to a stoplight, um, people would play music for you. They would wash your windows. We went to other cities uh, to look around. You could pay someone like a, a quarter an hour to watch your car. The only food we purchased over there is I did get fresh sliced pineapples. Uh, a guy had, there was a vendor on the street, had them in an, an ice cart, like an ice cream machine buggy, and probably the best pineapple I ever had. And there's Carol and Gina. Not sure what that building was. We did visit um, a university while we were there too. I don't know if it was University of Mexico or what. I just don't remember. Met some college students. They were very nice. We also traveled to Santilio and Monterey. And it's funny. One of the times I was traveling, I was going too fast. Uh, the cops over there at that time had whistles, and I just blew right by one of them. I found out we we're going the wrong way. I had to go back, and he stopped me, and he was telling me in Spanish I was going too fast and so on. I knew what he was saying, and I just pointed to uh, the gas gauge, and I kept on saying, I have plenty of gas. I have plenty of gas. Anyway, he got frustrated with me or afraid I was just a stupid Americano and let us go. Coca-Cola was a big deal. 
A lot of plazas in the area, a lot of churches. Here's a band, but I don't remember us listening to them. I guess we did. Again, this video has no sound, so I will have to improvise for you. Our motel room and everybody's chilling and Gina's asleep. Again, nice grounds, a nice room. I could not tell you what costs were, but they were very inexpensive. Grounds were very well maintained. I think that was the entrance to the motel, if I remember right. Oh, just a lot of barren land. And I guess because this is our first trip out of the country together, uh, I took a lot of video, probably way more than what I needed to. Department of Tourism. I don't think we stopped over there. It certainly looks hot. That was Monterey. We did go to Monterey. And look at Sears. This was one of the shopping areas. Uh, all their food was on display, hanging. Uh, you would just pick out what you wanted, whether it be a chicken, duck, whatever. Uh, same thing with vegetables and um, uh, meat and that kind of stuff. This was the area that I bought the sombreros. Uh, in fact, those are probably it right there. Did sell them while we're in Tennessee. Nobody ever wanted them, so finally got rid of them. So we held them for a lot of years. Ended up buying some kind of statue too, metal statue that we kept for years. And I think we sold that while we're on um, Oak Drive. We bought a lot of stuff over there. I guess just because it was cheap, there's a pharmacy, Gina. This must be Monterey. There's the uh, police, and um, they will stand on the corner uh, with their whistle, and that's how they direct traffic or stop people. There you go. cars back then. It looks like this is taken at another century, another time. And it almost was. While well, we're shopping at Monterey, that indoor mall that I showed you, that's when I paid someone to uh, watch the car for a quarter of an hour. And I looked at him from one of the uh, buildings and he stood right there and actually did not move. So he was very reliable. Again, a lot of open terrain and small mountains. Skies were nice and clear and blue. A 
That actually looks pretty tall. Okay, back on the road again. So I guess we're leaving Monterey and we could be heading to Santilio. I'm not sure. We'll have to look at the signs that they show up. In this one area, if you stop your car, this is where they would actually play music. And we did go to this sports arena, stadium, I guess you call it. Uh, that's where they did the bullfighting. Don't think we went in, I don't remember, but we did walk around. That could have been the university, I'm not sure. Mom wanted to take bullfighting lessons, but I wouldn't allow her. I said we have Gina to take care of, so maybe on the next trip. So she finally conceded. A lot of the color is out on these films. I don't know if it actually did get color then or it's just faded over the years. Okay, we're in a pool. Not sure which motel this is. It's the end of the day, and we're just going to relax and play. <laughs> Gosh, she is a little tiny girl. So cute. So, so cute. I can tell you what, she's probably soaking it all in. She's figuring out everything that's going on. I don't see the sign as far as what it says, so I can't tell you um, which direction or where we're going to next. Okay, we must have left. That looks like the stadium in Texas. And we do have snapshots of uh, Gina in the stadium. The seats, if I remember correctly, are red. Now you can tell you're in Texas, flat, flat, flat. No mountains there. Stadium seem to be the only thing of dimension. <laughs> okay, I don't know if we took the uh, movie camera in or not. We did take some stills while we we're in there, so I guess this is not going to show up. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, there we go. We're inside the stadium, and the seats are red, just like I remembered. I haven't seen this film probably since we shot it. 
It's a nice stadium. Uh, there's Mom and Gina. I don't remember if they gave us a tour or they just let us walk around. I think it was the latter. They talked about the uh, roof panels and uh, the seating arrangements and the field itself. Um, I think quite a few interesting never saw a game there at the Astrodome, but I wanted to see it. I don't know why. I guess it was on the way. Probably not far off from the interstate. So I thought, okay, we're going to go take a look. Okay, they were going across the bridge. Um, I know the name of it, but right now I can't think of it. Maybe when I'm putting this back together, the name will come to me and I'll write it in on the uh, movie script. Some of the bayou. Some of the lowland. We could be possibly in Louisiana now, not sure. Look at the traffic, unbelievable. I could not read that sign, maybe when I'm doing the movie I can uh, stop it and take a look and write it down. Okay, this may be New Orleans. That looks like the Mississippi River. And that was their stadium, I believe now. Um, we're on 10, it looks like. Because I've been down this road several times. And I believe that is the, uh, oh, the Café de Mont. Recognize that. And Gina's having her first Benet. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a great place for coffee. Now we're in the French quarters for coffee and French donuts, bananas. Oh my gosh, they are good. I could eat there every day. Yeah, as a kid, I traveled here a lot. Uh, that looks like Jackson Square. Yes, we're inside Jackson Square. Um, the painting that we have of uh, myself and Carol uh, was done there by one of the local artists. Look at all the pigeons. There she is. Just a little bit bigger than those pigeons at that time. It's a nice trip, nice place to go to. If you like Cajun food and gumbo, I don't think you can get any better. The French gumbo is delicious. One of the times I was there, they were filming a movie in Jackson Square and they had the camera about a foot or two off the person in the film and I walked up right behind them and followed them. I don't know if I was ever in it, probably not. I'm sure they got irritated with me. 
Okay, I'm trying to think of what that was. And that's the end.